everyone, this is Chris Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. When we last left off, we had taken down all of the Mavericks except for this guy, Boomer Kuwanger. And I just realized there is still something that I need to do. Back to Steam Chameleon stage we go. Now, your first thing you don't notice is that there's now water in these pits. This happens if you've beaten Launch Octopus. Be very close attention to the fact that this is a thing, because it's going to come into play really soon. Okay, come on, charge up the full power. There we go. Okay, now let's go down here. All right, now now that we have the uh, underwater jumping physics going on now, we can dash all the way to the left, right, and do this. Get the heart take finally. We still have one more to go, and the only way way place that is is the the McQuinger stage. I might as well go ahead and show off the rocks while we're here, too. If you shoot them down like this, they eventually replace the background. My guess is that it's the mid-boss that's doing this. And if I could show it, if the game would let me show it off, I actually will. Apparently it won't fall around you, but... Yeah, it's just like that. If you have the helmet enhancement, you'll be able to have it hit you squarely in the head and not even affect you, which I kind of like. It, it's, it's, the, it's the little things like that in games that make me enjoy them. And with that, we now have to deal with Boomer Quanger. If I remember correctly, I think he's like some sort of stag beetle. Some sort of beetle or something. I think, I think it's based off the Japanese word, the name Kuwanger. Yeah, I knew that would help. Then we got these things going on too. These things will back up every time you shoot. Oh my god, how am I gonna get past this guy? I know. Let me see if I can do this. Yep, that'll work. I could have used that to fill up the rest of that sub tank, but oh well. Got these robots to shoot down. And you want to be very careful with these laser beams. If, 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 they, if, they, if you trip them, you will get shot at. Like so. Thankfully, I got through that a little better than I thought I would. And I see another one coming at me. Okay, power this thing up again so I can hit this guy as soon as I see him. Yay. And again. And we got the third one filled up. Now you want to avoid these spikes, because if you touch the spikes, it's death. Just don't even try shooting these guys. Just steer clear of these things. Make that your number one priority. All right. Now we got this little uphill climb to take care of. We got these little platforms that have the turrets on them. Thankfully, they're easy to take care of. Take care of this guy first. Turrets are easier to take out. You those those uh, Lizards that, that uh, climb the 
Find the ladders. They're they're relatively weak. <clears throat> you don't need even need. You can just do a level two charge and it'll just take care of them. I'll just shoot this one down just because I can. Easier to take out. Level two charge versus for the for the lizards versus level one charge with the turrets. Okay, come on. And there's no platform there, so don't worry about that. There is one here, though, I think. No, there isn't. Now, you're supposed to have the boomerang cutter for this one. But I got a better idea, and I hope it works. And it does. You can just power up the shotgun ice there and use the platform that you create to get to the heart, heart tank. You can't, as I said before, you can't use a boomerang cutter, but this can be easier if you're, if you're having trouble with it. Because you're certainly not going to reach it with a dash jump. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's not very much left to this climb. Might as well refill, why not? And I might as well go ahead and use that last charge right there to take that out. Now you're going to want to want to equip the homing torpedo. I like how this map looks. I like the music too. Got, got that orchestra hit going on right there. And well you're going to want to use it against this guy, Boomer Kuanger. He does this ninja like dash. You can hit him out of that teleport if you're lucky. You can hit him even while he's teleporting. And that's about as easy as he can be with the homing torpedo. I really don't have much else to say about him. Well, we've got all, the, all of the heart tanks now, and we got all the weapons. And for beating Boomer Kawanger, we get the Boomerang Cutter. Which lets you shoot boomerangs that return to you. They go a little upward upward arc there, and uh, if you power it up, it just shoots four boomerangs that go north, west, east, and south. One, one direction for each. And now that we've beaten all of the Mavericks here, we meet up with Zero again. Early evening is about to be late evening by the time we get over there. And we found Sigma's Fortress. So, let's do this. And the music changes as soon as you uh, get back here to the uh, select screen. And it, it, this, this is a thing that happens in the X games. But, well, we have one more thing we want to get. And this is Spartan Mandrel stage. And it involves the um, Boomerang Cutter, as you're, as you're about to see. Now I can just get over there. I'll even take this guy out too, because you never know. Alright. Now jump up, and... Well, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, if you jump and hold down before you shoot, the boomerang goes in a downward arc, letting you grab 
that sub tank with ease. Another interesting thing about the boomerang. I'm gonna keep shooting this thing, watch my weapon meter. Notice that whenever the boomerang returns to me, I get the energy back. That's probably like only weapon I know of that in any of the Mega Man games I think that works like that. I may be wrong, but that, that's the only one that I know of. And Well, we can get out of here because, well, we can. And... Do I want to? Do I really want to? Yeah, I do. You're about to see why, people. Can I get that? Yes, I can. Okay. I want to fill that sub tank up just cause... It'd be great if I could. Got this bat going on and coming around again. And, well, I want to take him out too. Got another extra life. These, a lot of these bats are at the beginning. They're going to drop health power-ups. You might as well go ahead and take them. Why do you want to take them? Well, because that way you can do pull that off with all four of these sub tanks. Now, there is a special weapon that you'll want to get. And it's a very good special weapon. You don't need it. It's more like an extra just to say you did everything. And you can't save it, so it's, you lose it as soon as you turn the power off. But it's still worth getting. And I'm gonna make my way through here. Just as quickly as I can. Because, well, this involves going through the entire stage like a lunatic. And that thing's finally dead. I'm surprised we could hear the explosion from this far away. Now, in order to get this weapon, you do have to go through here. Now, here's the kicker. You have to do it five times. I might as well go ahead and show this stage again because, well, I can. Another good shot off right there. And wow, I can't charge until that shot is off. I'm amazed. Go ahead and use the fire wave again. Get rid of this thing again. Does it drop anything for me? No, it doesn't. No, it does not. And we got the last of the... carts here. And kill all the birds. Just kill every single one of them. And you want to grab this energy thing. Now... Drop down here and die. You can also use the escape unit if you want. I'm doing this five times. This is my second one. And I just made quick work of that with the fire wave. I've actually had a blast doing this one. This, I haven't had to do a uh, practice run with this yet. The only thing I've had to do a practice run for 
is, well, for the Flame Mammoth up tank, which I just had to remember where it was. Because I thought I thought I had it, or didn't know where it was. Actually, it was more like I didn't know where it was. And, well, I had to test that, just had to prove where it was after I found out where it was on the internet. And then, yeah. Now you know. And that's how quickly you can kill that with the fire wave. And I'm assuming that's not TAS speed wise. That's like probably as fast as you can kill that thing as humanly possible. And I might as well go ahead and do this again. I like doing this. Just letting the letting letting the uh, most powerful X Butcher shot just go. And doing that. I think this is my fourth run through to the exit. Okay, that's as fast, fast as you can do it, as humanly possible. I tried. I actually tried that last time, but this time it was really good. I tried to shoot those bats and it didn't really work. Just kill all the bats. And there it is! And it's Dr. Light dressed as Ryu. Why? Okay. I, there's a fifth capsule. We got everything. I, okay. <gasps> ah! That's right. In Mega Man 1, you can actually shoot an Adokin as soon as you get this capsule. Remember, you can't save this to your game. If you turn the power off and reset, you will have to do all this over. To do it, you must have the Mega Buster equipped, or the X Buster rather, and your energy must be full. From there, you must do a down, down, forward, forward motion, followed by the Y button. Pretty much like the Hadoken in Street Fighter 2. This weapon can actually make a huge meal out of certain bosses. I know for a fact you can use it to pretty much get through like the final battle. I'll try to do them the normal way if I can, and if it doesn't happen like I want, I'll go ahead and use the Adoken. Otherwise, I might as well go ahead and do an extra video where I go through all the bosses with the Adoken that I can kill it with, and just... put it all in one video so with that let's call it a video I'm actually having very good time with this project I hope you guys are too and well what else can we do next time what else can we do so until then this is Prince Watercrest saying Take care, stay safe, thanks for watching.